This episode of Research Park TV is brought to you in part by Dasco Bowl. If you'd like to be part of one of the top-ranked accounting firms in South Florida, think Dasco Bowl. Also sponsored by the Wyndham. Parents in town? Send them across the street to the Wyndham. It's so nice, they might just leave you alone. Welcome back to Research Park TV. This is podcast number four. Thank you for staying in touch with us. Your comments and feedback are appreciated. And once again, if you forgot how to get a hold of us, please send me your comments to amanda at cellware.com. Okay, moving right along. Each podcast we bring something from the academic world, something from the research park, and something from inside our incubator environment. Today, we will start with a trip into an important person's office, Christine Canyon, one of our very own research park VIPs. Hello, Christine. Can you tell us a little about your role here in the research park? I'm the Associate Director of Operations for both the Research Park at FAU and Enterprise Development Corp. I'm responsible for solving problems, bringing tenants into the incubator, and working with all EDC clients. My favorite part of the job is all of the interesting people I get to work with and meet on a regular basis. Can you tell us anything exciting that we might not know about? Uh, well, recently we expanded the Technology Business Incubator, an additional 10,000 square feet, and incorporated a co-working center inside of the incubator so that our tenants and tenant companies can mingle and draw talent from. Thank you, Christine. I look forward to seeing you in the future show. Next, we will cross the street and on the other side of FAU Boulevard, we find Life of Purpose. We are fortunate to have the CEO, Andrew Berkey. Andrew, thank you for coming on our show. Please tell us about Life of Purpose. Life of Purpose is an academically focused substance abuse treatment center located here in FAU's Research Park. Uh, what we do is, in addition to providing clinical services for substance abuse, we have an entire case management component that's structured to get people back on track academically and set them up to be successful in life. That's very interesting. What advantages does being located in Research Park offer your company? The largest advantage for our company being located in Research Park is the affiliation with the university. We're able to collaborate with a number of different uh, schools and colleges at the university and we can bring over interns uh, that are able to uh, sort of train while they're additionally assisting students. So we can actually bring over um, like a group of psychiatry students and have them observe a psychiatry session. Our medical director teaches at the College of Medicine. Our director of therapeutic modalities and program evaluation uh, is a professor at the School of Social Work. So we can bring over a group of students and have them observe an individual session, a group therapy session. What should we be on the lookout for at Life of Purpose? Well, we're going to continue to grow this program. Um, we really are trying to get people through uh, the, the inpatient component. We have sober student housing set up, so we bring people in. Um, if they you know, have to medically withdraw, some of them obviously have to go to detox beforehand. Um, but you know, we're really trying to build a, uh, a safe environment that, that's right here on the campus. Uh, so that people can attend classes, go to our intensive outpatient program, and progressively step down. So one of the things that's really advantageous for us, uh, uh, being located in such close proximity to school, is you know, we, can have, we can have students that are actively attending classes, they can come here between classes, they can pull up their syllabus, they can pull up their blackboard, we can assess if they're having difficulty in specific areas, and get them um, connected with the resources, many of which are even included in their tuition, uh, to help them be successful academically. So if someone um, you know, gets a 78 on a math test, we can connect them with the math lab or the writing lab or whatever it is that this specific student is struggling with. Next up, we are going to visit Caffeine Spaces. Hello Mark, what can you tell us about Caffeine Spaces? Caffeine Spaces is a co-working space located here in Boca Raton. 
We've developed it to be an alternative to a coffee shop, and it's right in the wave of the co-working movement. Think of it as a tech clubhouse for your startups, entrepreneurs, people looking to start a business that don't want to have the overhead that you would have in a normal business environment. Tell us about the events you hold. Caffeine Spaces has several different types of events here. We have different meetup groups, we have larger events, we have hackathons, we're going to be developing uh, bar camps. But every th Wednesday and Thursday night we normally have a larger meetup groups. Uh, and also now we're starting on Friday nights to have an entrepreneur gathering. What's the next big thing for your business? Next for Caffeine Spaces we're working on building out an accelerator. Thanks for letting us come by. Back in our building, we're going to catch up with a young entrepreneur, Kevin Hawker, co-founder of ThinkSoft. ThinkSoft is a mobile app development company. We specialize in developing high-profile iOS apps for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch devices. With access to enormous resources at FAU, we're capable of taking on and delivering almost any kind of project. ThinkSoft has the unique ability to instantly access a world-class talent pool and leading edge technologies to seamlessly scale our development needs based on project sizes and timelines. I'm a graduate of the class of 2011 and co-founder of the company. ThinkSoft is a perfect example of a company growing inside the FAU ecosystem. Well, that's it for this show. Thanks for tuning in. By the way, if you're interested in appearing, please let me know. Email me at amanda at cellware.com. Bye for now.